Martin Milner, an actor who broke out of supporting movie roles as the quintessential clean-cut young man to achieve television stardom as one of two road-hungry bachelors in Route 66 and later as a veteran police officer in Adam 12, died on Sunday at his home in Carlsbad, California he was 83. The cause was heart failure, his wife, Judy, said. Mr. Milner, who came from a show business family, had had a successful and highly visible run in late 1950s movies before Route 66 came along. He was the naive fiancé of a ruthless New York columnist's sister in Sweet Smell of Success, a helpful friend of John Barrymore's wayward daughter Diana in Too Much, Too Soon, a shy young reporter surrounded by murderers in Compulsion, and the wide-eyed boy who loses the girl to the sophisticated older man in Marjorie Morningstar based on Herman Wouk's novel. But Route 66 gave him top billing, or a share of it, alongside George Mahuri's, beginning in 1960. The two were cast as single men in their twenties driving from town to town and state to state in a shiny Corvette convertible trying to find themselves. The series, in which Mr. Milner's character was both the nice guy and the rich kid, it was his car was a ratings hit and ran four seasons on CBS. The series often tackled serious social issues, and its guest stars included major Hollywood names like Joan Crawford, Rod Stager and Boris Karloff, as well as future notables like Robert Redford and Martin Sheen. Mr. Milner returned to series television four years later, this time as an experienced, but still baby-faced, Los Angeles police officer in Jack Webb's drama Adam 12, ABC, 1968-75. He had met Webb when both were in the cast of the 1950 war film Halls of Montezuma, and had appeared in six episodes of Webb's series Dragnet in the early days of his television career. Mr. Milner had no illusions about his place in the Hollywood firmament and seemed not to be particularly concerned about it. The really big stars have a drive that made them into superstars, he said in an interview with the Toronto Star in 1994. They can't turn it off when they have that success. I certainly was not driven by a great dedication that made me succeed or else. He wondered aloud if that made him a bum. Then he added, it's terrible, but it's true. Martin Sam Milner was born in Detroit on December 28, 1931. His father, Sam, was a film distributor, and his mother, Mildred, known professionally as Jim Martin, was a dancer with the Paramount Theatre Circuit. The family soon moved to Seattle and then to Los Angeles, where Martin's movie career began in his early teens. He made his film debut in Life with Father, 1947, as the second eldest of the red-haired children of William Powell and Irene Dunn. Mr. Milner came by his red hair and freckles, naturally, soon afterward, he received a diagnosis of polio, at the height of the epidemic, but he was able to return to the screen two years later, with John Wayne in Sands of Iojima, 1949. Mr. Milner served in the army from 1952 to 1954, stationed in California, directing training films and appearing in touring shows, and he attended the University of Southern California for a year. He married Judith Beth Jones in 1957, and they had four children. Besides his wife, his survivors include a daughter, Molly D. Gross, two sons, Stuart and Andrew, and four grandchildren. Another daughter, Amy, died of leukemia in 2004. Mr. Milner appeared in more than 40 films altogether. Between his two hit television series, he played Patty Duke's put-upon Hollywood husband in Valley of the Dolls, 1967. In 1975 he starred in his last theatrically released film, The Swiss Family Robinson, the third American movie based on that 1812 novel by Johann David Wyss. It briefly became a television series as well, with Mr. Milner as the lead. He appeared on Broadway only once, in a short-lived comedy, The Ninety Day Mistress in 1967, opposite Diane Cannon. He made occasional guest appearances on television into his late 60s, in his last, a 1997 episode of Diagnosis Murder. He played a police captain, 
but also turned to farming, avocados and walnuts, to family and to radio. He became a drive-time disc jockey in San Diego in the 1980s and hosted two fishing shows, Let's Talk Hookup, in California, and Let's Talk Fishing, syndicated, into the 2000s. In 1998 Mr. Milner paid homage to the role that seemed to define him, although it had represented only four years of his five-decade acting career. He appeared as the on-air narrator of a documentary video, Route 66. Return to the road with Martin Milner, getting behind the wheel of a vintage Corvette and driving cross-country again. The series was unusual for having been shot entirely on location across the United States, which Mr. Milner said lent the Enterprise an uncommon freedom. You could never do it again because, in those days, the net 